Welcome anyone and everyone, it's me, Maggie Reap, and we are back with more 100 Baby Challenge. Let me know if you're getting sick of this, because I'm not. <laughs> I'm here with Sloth Mom, of course, Hello. who is my buddy for this series. <laughs> and we have some birthdays today. I've been playing off uh, camera to get the boring parts out of the way and have just the entertaining parts or the interesting parts for recording. You're probably wondering who this is. This is Marlin. He is the result of a vampire breed out the weird that I did on my own time. And he is a future baby daddy for Victoria. So I had her greet him when he was walking past. It's now not he's too early. Inside. Yep. <laughs> it's not too early to get to know him. Yep. But our interesting thing for today is Brody and Beulah are going to be aging up. And I'm excited. And it is also going to be Winterfest. <gasps> oh my goodness, they're born on Winterfest. Well, the day before Winterfest. The day before Winterfest. Winterfest, Winterfest Eve. Eve. <laughs> <laughs> I love when we do that. <laughs> <laughs> it freaks people out. <laughs> Alright, and just to remind you... Or if you are new and this is your first episode of this, we have Victoria here, who is the moon. Oh, she's got a pimple on her nose. Aww. She's got a Rudolph pimple. <laughs> um, she is our matriarch. She is going to be the mama to 100 little vampire babies. And our oldest, our twins, Alice, right here. Identical twins, Alice and Amelia. Turn around. Yeah, she is. Whoop. Oh, nope, too far. <laughs> Alright, well, they look identical. Just yeah. just go with it. And then we have Brody and Beulah, who are aging up, like I said before. He's our only boy so far. And Beulah is our only human so far. Isn't she adorable? <laughs> and then we have the triplets. Coraline. Coraline. Cosette. And Cornelia. So that's where we stand right now. Who made a mess in this bedroom? Ooh. Which one of you stinkers made a mess? I want names. <laughs> Point fingers. <laughs> it was. It wasn't. Um, Cornelia. Which one wears the glasses? Cosette. One Cosette. Mm mm. Well, we're going to start baking a cake so we can get these birthdays rolling. Cosette's my favorite of the triplets. I can have favorites because they're not mine. <laughs> we're making a nice chocolate cake. Ooh, yeah. Victoria here is not very good cooking. As you can see, she's just now level three. Because, well, for herself, she only drinks plasma. So, she doesn't need to cook for herself. She's got to cook for the kids, though. So. Oh, look at her. <laughs> you got our little dancer over here. Little Beulah. My little booty. Birthday girl. <laughs> We're boogieing down. Go, Beulah. It's your birthday. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> oh, here's the cake. <gasps> Candles! Candles before anybody tries to take a piece of it. Don't you take a piece. Don't you? Oh! oh man. That's your birthday cake! <laughs> oh my god, I haven't had that happen in so long. Uh. Alright, you're getting a stupid hamburger cake now. Yeah, I've had that happen before, too. You're getting this stupid hamburger cake. Mm. <laughs> Get her a fruit cake. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can't put candles on a fruit cake. Um, hello. Resume. Cook. No, don't put her down. Mm. No, stop. Go cook. Go bake the cake or else we can't grow them up. Woman. Victoria, I'm going to kick you. I'm going to kick you. Through this monitor. I'll get my foot up on the desk and shove it through the monitor. Oh my god! <laughs> Move 
move it over there. Can you move it? No, leave the toddlers <gasps> alone. Cook the cake. Oh, Victoria, I'm going to cook the damn right. cake. Okay, we need to move that. For some reason, she'll only cook right here. I was going to say the whole island. The whole island, all this, and but she'll only cook, cook right here. Mmm. Good grief, girl. The Sims are going uh. to give you a heart attack. Or an aneurysm. Mmm. Are you happy, Beulah? Are you happy that we're going through this struggle because of you? She can't help. She was hungry. And her mama was too slow to put the candles on. Her mama was about to put the candles on, but couldn't because she was already grabbing the cake. This is a stressful birthday. I know. She's so slow with this. Came out of a box. <laughs> <laughs> and Marlin's here, and he's just looking at things. You do your thing, buddy. He's scoping the house out so he can come back when it's dark and steal things. He's not a kleptomaniac. <laughs> I'm just making up stories. That is a big cake. They're all big cakes. That and they get big pieces. See, yeah, but that looks Add bigger. the candles. For the love of God, add the candles. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> do Oh, I say the candles are already on. Okay. Mm. All right. Brody came first, and because Beulah messed up the first cake. Yeah, she's got to wait. <laughs> she gets the, the sloppy seconds. <laughs> oh man! Come on, little Brody. The only one with that red hair. Yep. Aww. He says, Mommy, it's my birthday. <laughs> He's clingy, too, so he loves his mommy. Aww. He clings to his mommy. Precious. There we go. Blow out your candles, little buddy. They can't have hamburger cake, then. Okay, yeah. clingy trait. So that will make him well, a loner. Mm. Family oriented. Family oriented might work better. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. What is family oriented? Can the toddler? Can mm -hmm. children not be family oriented? Oh. That is suitable for him. It should be in here, shouldn't it? But he does not. They can't be family oriented? Because I don't think he would be a loner if he wanted he if he's clingy. He wants Yeah, he wants somebody to cling near. to. Yeah. Well maybe we'll make him a cat lover. He that's can he could cling to the cat. That's what I was gonna say, make some kind of pet that would work. There we go. And it'll be mental. <laughs> it'll be mental. <laughs> We gotta get that red hair back. Yeah, I love the red hair. Mm -hmm. He ain't Brody without the red hair. All right, now time for Beulah. Come on, girlfriend. Help blow out candles. You Beulah. What is she doing? She's chatting with her little stinky sister. Aww. Here we go. We're gonna have four children and three toddlers. Oh, Lordy. Go, Beulah. Go, Beulah. Don't mess this up. Uh, what are you where, doing? Where are you going? Do not put her down. Oh, oh my Victoria. God. No, don't go no. play the dollhouse. You are already doing something. Victoria, I'm going to kick you. Take her over there so she can age up. Then you can go back to business. There we go. Oh, look at her blowing them out. Pendant. So we'll make her self assured. Alright. And she'll do motor. Mm -hmm. 
She's going to get her Oh, boy. she's angry now. Ooh, why is she so angry? She wants more sugar. Girl. No. Okay. we got to get her her white hair back. Yes. So, let's save real quick. Save Do a quick save a Rooney. Save a Rooney and get him hooked. Control shift C, cast dot full edit mode. Badoink. Bring grumpy little Beulah up. Modifying cast. Oh, here we go. All right, here she is. Let's switch her over to every day. Going to take everything off, work from a clean base. Mm-hmm. Got to change these eyebrows gray since she has naturally white hair. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's give her her skin details back. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Mm -hmm. I was going to get there eventually. Mm-hmm. And here she is with all her skin details back on. She's got a very square face. No. Mm -hmm. oh. She wouldn't have fangs. She's not a vampire. Nope. She's the only one that's not a vampire. Like this one. That is cute. Let's go with this one. No. Now she needs a cute tootsie little outfit. All right, here's little Beulah, all grown up and all dressed up. With her pretty hair. Mm-hmm. Now we're moving on to her brother, Brody. <laughs> he's in his pajama jams. In his little vampire cell. Let's get into him, see what we can do. Oh, and he looks very unique. I've never seen a, a child look like him. With well, a skin detail made it, too. Yeah. Let's give him his teeth, his little vampire fangs. And time for some red, red hair. I don't know if that's the red. Well, we've got limited options. There's the same hair he had as a toddler. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's it. I don't want to give him the same hair he had as a toddler, though. I know, but that's the red. We're going to have to make compromises here, Mother. <sighs> I like that little one red from this purpley. He looks like a Ron Weasley. <laughs> Doesn't he? A little bit. I can see that. It just makes his face look too. I don't like it with that hair still. So. That is cute. He's got fun when it comes in that color. This does. The Anto hairs do. All the newer Anto hairs do. That's the white, that's not the that, That's as red as we're going to get. Okay, well, that's a cute one. Without giving him the same hair he had as a toddler. Right, gotcha. What do you think? Mm-hmm. I like it. Okay. What about his eyebrows? Are they still good? Yeah. All right, here's little Brody. All grown up and made up, just like his sister. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's all sportsy looking. Alright, there they are all made up. Gonna do a save a roo. Save a roo. Look at them all. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, Beulah's trying to go to sleep. <laughs> and Mama's bed, because we don't have a bed for her yet. <gasps> Gonna have to work on that. Yep. But there she is. Whoops. There's She's Gula. Cute. Their hair looks so soft. human. <laughs> and here's anyway. her brother in his jammies. <laughs> little Brody, the lone boy. And little kitty cat jammies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With his bright red hair. <laughs> So that is all for this episode because we've been recording a little bit because it takes a little bit to make these guys over. But they look adorable. Yep. And we got plenty of cake for everybody. Mm. Like this one who is hungry and wants cake. 
Come get a piece. Which one are you? Cosette. Come get some Cosette. Oh, this one's hungry too. She's gonna go get a piece of cake all on her own. Yep, cake bird bun. There we go. Stinky one. All right, and we're gonna have to get Mama here start fabricating some beds. All right. Because we have a little bit of money now, but not a whole lot. So let's fabricate. And she don't have the ability to fabricate a kid's bed, so we're gonna do that. We'll do a grim one. So we got her set to fabricate. We're gonna get beds for these twins. Mm -hmm. Get beds for them. Get things a rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We got things broke back here. Yep. But that is all for this episode as we get some beds being made. So thank you anyone and everyone for watching. Thank you Sock Mama for joining me. You're welcome. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button. And subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps the channel. And hit the notification bell if you want to be notified. And um, follow me on Twitter for any updates. And that is all. So, thanks again for watching. Bye! Bye.